How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Diamond Matter channel or if you're new to me, thank you very much for clicking on this video. I'm Chris Bilton. I was a professional jeweler in the UK for over 20 years, but now I'm living in Japan and using my skills and abilities to make jewelry making instructional videos, putting them on YouTube. So uh, yeah, welcome. Want to click like and subscribe and all that. Uh, first of all, I'm starting off the videos now by saying thank you to patrons and uh, YouTube members. So forgive me if I've already mentioned these names yeah, because what's happened the last few days, I made a video, got halfway through it, and then I had to stop because my solder and equipment wasn't big enough. Oh, I can't see it now, oh, there it is. Um, I was making a, like a custom handmade case out of copper for my Zippo. So um, yeah, made the video up to that. It was like reasonably good, quite happy with all the video in I did. And I can't find the files, like they've just disappeared. They're not on my camera, they're not on my ca uh, laptop, they're not on the hard drive, so. I'm assuming I d deleted them accidentally. So uh, so yeah, I will continue with it. I will just have to talk about what I did. But it's a shame because I did a lot of video in and, and explained what I was doing. And it's the first time I made any kind of box since I was an apprentice. So it was quite fun to actually make a video trying it again for the first time after all these years. Uh, anyway, so whatever. I don't like to dwell on things. It's a shame, but I can continue with that video. I'll just have to start again. So anyway, at the start of that video, I said thank you to patrons and members and stuff. So I can't remember who it was now. So I'm just going to read through everyone from this month, August 2021. We've got Vivian Nape, Bonnie Bailey, Chad Forshaw, RJ Messi, oh, Magessi, sorry. Um, Albertine Lello, we've got Ashley Hardy, Irene, Prue.s and Bluebird, they're from the last few days. So thank you very much, guys. Appreciate all the patrons. Uh, really, they're, they're putting money down, yeah, and it's really helping me and encouraging me to do more, more videos and more content over more varied, uh, like, more varied subjects and specifics in making jewelry. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate you. And if you want to become a patron yourself or a member, uh, look for a join button or there's links in all the descriptions of all the videos anyway. So it's quite easy to find your way to uh to the websites to do that right cool um today i am finally i've got a bit of wire i've got this thick extra thick coat hanger wire so i'm gonna finally hang my pliers and my tweezers uh a little bit lower because they're, they're too high now and they scratch my elbows and it's been annoying the whole time i've been making jewelry in japan so finally i'm gonna sort it out so dung dung i have got this bit of wire i think this is from a gardening shop it's just a bit of wire I bought for like a meter of it or something uh, and I thought that'd be good for hanging my pliers on when I was sitting on my bench and I did it wrong I wasn't thinking ahead I don't know why because I've never made this mistake in my uh, in my history of being a jeweler but I just went it, coming straight out the bench and the problem with that is things sit on it too high I mean it's wobbly because I hammered it down to try and get it lower so if the spikes of all your pliers and stuff are above it sometimes your elbows there and you just or you reach across it I was constantly scratching my forearms like for two years now, I'm amazed at myself for not sorting this out sooner. I don't like that about myself. Like, usually if there's something needs to be doing, I just get on with it and do it. But some things escape that. <laughs> and this is an example of one of those things. I've just never got around to changing it until today. So I'm making a quick video because it's something I recommend you do. It's really useful having pliers and tweezers here. It doesn't matter where exactly or what's on what side, just whatever suits you. Um, but there's a way to do it. That, that bar, horizontal part has got to be lower. So I'm going to show you how I do that today. It's been on my mind to get this done, but I was looking for a bit of wire sort of equivalent to that that's strong, like quite rigid, but not impossible to work with. So this was quite good, but it wasn't long enough to do what I wanted. Uh, anyway, right, so coat hanger. It's a bit flexy, but it'll do, I guess. So I'm snipping off this twisted bit. Snippy, snippy, get rid of that. Chuck that down there. Now I'm just gonna straighten this. I won't need all of this, I don't think, but I'm just gonna straighten it best pos. It's not gonna be great, but I'll be able to work with it. So something just normal pliers, nothing special for jewelry. And I'm just gonna quite badly straighten it. So this is all straight-ish now, um, just like that, that'll do. Now I'm gonna screw this in position. So screws are gonna go in these holes. I may as well keep it the same distance. It'd be nice to actually move it across a little bit. So they do get in the way of my file handles, but whatever, I was gonna put it in the same place for now. Um, yeah, I'm using these pliers and I'm gonna turn a loop around. So the screw will hold it in around this loop. 
difficult to hold it. That'll be alright. I think that'll be alright. So yeah, just a little kind of U-shape, closed up U-shape will do. A bit difficult to actually turn it into a nice circle, but I think that's going to work alright. Now let's take a measurement. These used to stick up the highest, my tin snips, so there you go. I want them below the top surface, so that gives me an idea how low to go. So that's going to be screwed in position there. Um, so we're going down. I need that much length. So that's going there. And then it's going down and then it's coming out. So hold that at that position. A bit difficult sometimes, a round wire. And then going out. Turn that 90 degrees. Here you go. So that's going to come out and then go across. So I've got down, and that's coming out towards me, and now it's going across, so I need a bit of distance away from that. About an inch will do, what's that one? Yeah, about an inch. Just looking at the other side, seeing what I did there. It's no exact science, don't worry about it too much. This is actually a lot stronger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, yeah, all the angle's gonna change, but don't worry, this metal twists. Just keep everything how I want it to look. There you go, see what done now? So that is now, oh, that's why my microphone's getting away. Um, so that's now ready to go across that. So I just go across the distance I need and then line up with that other hole and then just go same as that, back into there. line it up. Distance is a little bit dodgy, it's alright. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to keep that horizontal. If it's tilted, all your pliers and stuff are going to slide one side or the other, so try and keep it flat if possible. And as my, I've gone a little bit long, I'll just loop it off that way again. Just hold it there. Right, there we go, look. So I'm just gonna cut this off so I can squash it nice and flat, if I can hold on to it. Right, there we go. And then uh, just hold it in position, I'm just thinking, putting a screw in. with this one there you go yeah, it sits just under bench height so that's worked out pretty nicely so the ultimate test of success is have I solved the problem of scratching my arm all the time <laughs> yes I have great ah uh, that's Ridiculous for you watching, I'm sure, but for me it's really satisfying to be able to put my arm there without getting scratched and stabbed by all these. Uh, yeah, because you know, often, because it's summertime, I'm quite often wearing a t-shirt when I'm working. So my arms go in there to use pliers or just leaning across even to like put my brush in the flux. Always scratching my arm there, so it's really annoying. Great, happy with that. I'm pleased with myself to do that today, but I'm also kind of disappointed in myself for taking so long to get it organized. But anyway, great, it's done. So. Just so you know, one coat hanger wire with the most wound up hook bit chopped off and uh, the remaining bit straightened was uh, plenty enough for both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now. And uh, yeah, my life has improved. It's <laughs> just from a little bit of work. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe for algorithms, helps it grow, helps share this content for more people. And uh, yeah, also, um, yeah, thanks for watching. So cool. All right, see you next time, bye.